Hey guys. Good morning, everybody. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Yeah. Um, today <laughs> we are again connecting the dots with uh, Sakharov number 134 and um, on our, it's called On Our Path to Health. Walk and run in place with high knees. Yeah, why do I do that? Interesting. Um, well, imagine the picture. Uh, a black forest, early in the morning. It's two hours to sunrise. It's cold. It's around minus two, minus five degrees snow you are alone in the woods with your dog and you are with bare we are barefoot basically with barefoot sandals like very very thin sandals um, that's me that's the picture of Misha Sakharov into the woods and uh, that's what I was doing yesterday and that's what I'm going gonna do today after this live um, around qu quarter to seven and the sun goes up around quarter past eight. So it's one and a half hour before sunrise. Um, it's an interesting situation, actually. That's why I really wanted to tell you the story. Um, what do you want when you, are, um, when you are in the situation like that? Basically, you are interested in um, conserving the warmth of your body the heat of your body and not freezing um, in your in your toes and uh, your feet because that's what exactly what's happening when you have uh, bare feet uh, in January in the woods and um, I was always um, the last five years that I'm doing this kind of crazy things uh, using sandals um, as my only uh, shoe during the whole year 12 12 months and also in in the winter I, I'm really interested in finding uh, new ways to conserve heat um, to feel warm um, basically being like self-contained in into the nature into the when, when it's when it's warm you can also you can do that it's not really a problem you just have to uh, breathe with your nose relax so you're not sweating a lot diminish maybe the range of movement to conserve the power and not to overheat yourself but when it's cold um, it's another way around you need to uh, consistently doing something to warm yourself up um, and running with your knees up is exactly what it is so basically, I'm doing intermittently, running with my knees up and walking with my knees up. So how does it look like? It's like, uh, like that. So you see, uh, the knees are going pretty high up. And uh, I'm um, uh, turning my upper part of the body one way and the, uh, the, the hips another way. So they are like that. So basically when I have uh, my left foot here my right shoulder is here so uh, up with right uh, excuse me up with left foot forward with the shoulder so you create this movement of your torso and you know what what is happening um, thing that is happening that just five minutes or three minutes of this kind of um, running not exactly in place, but very slow. It's like running in place, but you are moving forward into the woods. It's very slow and um, it's great. It's hard. So in five minutes, I, I do the same thing, like marching on a military parade ground. If you guys never tried it, uh, try this. Um, I can tell you I tried it 
uh, two years in Russian army in, in Red Army. So how how does it look like? So it's the same thing. So you also try to do slight movement here, like counter uh, this. So this is basically what is happening. And again, this movement is to um, both when you're running in place and very, very slowly moving forward and marching like on the military par parade ground. The idea is you are um, exaggerating a little bit, but you exaggerate in order to, um, to push uh, for the blood flow, for the lymph flow. So this exercise is, as I wrote, it's, our path, it's being on our path towards health walking and running in place with high knees. Um, uh, this is um, very, very fast. It could be a part of a very, very fast workout at home, also running in place. Um, it's running in place for a certain amount of time, ensuring that as you run, you bring your knees as high up as possible. And this, uh, this highly exaggerated knee lifts are um, really invigorating and uh, um, extending your range of uh, motion. Um, that's a great exercise, really. Improving the speed of the lower body very much, increasing the overall flexibility, um, also developing an immense amount of power, and that's why it's warming you up in the winter time, in the cold woods when you are alone with your dog. And... Um, so the exercise makes you stronger, more powerful, and uh, allowing you to have higher level levels of endurance. Um, so what is happening um, mentally? Well, mentally what is happening, it's a picture of the process. Because running with your knees up uh, and not moving really so much forward, but very slowly, not what, what is uh, important here, it's not the distance. Because when you're running on distance, very often you want to prove something to yourself. That you can do it, you can do it, you can do it better all the time. Or you can prove it to some, somebody else by publishing your results on the, in, uh, on the internet. Your itinerary and things. Good thing, but not, not exactly the best one you want for your own personal development process. What is important here, it's not the distance. It's important to warm up properly because otherwise you will freeze. And here the process is important. It's a long term enjoyment you are creating because if you want to enjoy your workout um, in the minus, in, in cold temperature, in the snow, with bare feet, <laughs> you really want to be warm. So you are ensuring your long term enjoyment of the process. And the enjoyment of the process goes through warming up. So distance is not that important. I don't really enjoy the distance, but I enjoy being warm into the woods. And I enjoy being present because that's another positive thing that's coming. Uh, suddenly you realize what you really have. And what you really have, it's the time. When you're alone, there's nobody into the woods, only yourself. You don't want to prove anything. You don't, you don't want to um, be sure that you're running and it looks good that everybody uh, sees, at, uh, sees you and looks a look at you and like enjoy, oh, wow, you're running very, very good technique or something like that. Um, so it's really good to train presence. And that's great because you are there's no nobody there, and I enjoy really I enjoy being present, and I enjoy very much being present with warm feet with warm toes, and and again suddenly you realize what you really have, and uh, what you really have it's time, and that's one of the very important areas of personal development. That's that is realizing that you have time. Time is on your hands. Um, 
That's the whole point of the process, basically. And again, you are not um, running all the time. You are doing intermittently. You run three to five minutes because it's pretty exhausting. It's hard. It's hard to run uh, with high knees. Um, and then you switch to walking. And when you're walking, you can do it with, uh, um, with you know, the same thing that we used to do um, when we are practicing four foot walk. We relax the diaphragm, hold good structure, uh, looking directly forward, uh, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the eyes, relaxing the tongue, relaxing the, uh, the jaws. So releasing the belly. When you release the belly, you also release the tension in your feet. So you allow the forefoot to drop. So um, it touches the ground first. And again, guys, um, what is crucial here when you are running in, in like w weather conditions like that? And I'm going to run today. And as you can see here, that's 100% uh, that's rain. It's raining. It's going to be plus today, plus four, plus three, but it's, uh, but it's raining. So um, you, um, what I found out is really great. It's um, ensure that you don't have too much um, clothes on. Somehow it primes you for movement. It makes you um, makes you kind of feel sporty because if you have if you take uh, if it's cold and you take some um, a lot of a uh, lot of clothes on it's like well it's like walking and enjoying the nature but yes I also want to walk to enjoy the nature but I also walk to uh, want to run and I also want I also want to signal to myself that I'm gonna um, exercise now so having not too much clothes on is a very good idea because uh, you will ensure that you are gonna you are going to move you are going to move so when it's raining for me uh, I accept the rain I don't take I don't cover my head I don't uh, I allow myself to become wet um, then I just uh, you know dry my clothes when I come home it's not a problem I don't really have um, any kind of uh, um, um, raincoats and things like that I don't know um, I just I allow uh, myself uh, becoming wet um, and it's again it's just uh, uh, accepting the elements is a part of it for me, it's a part of personal development, accepting the elements and uh, trying to bring myself in the situation where I enjoy uh, the elements or whatever they are, like raining or snowing. Well, the elements can be extreme too. So I'm not talking about extre uh, extreme weather conditions. You have to uh, don't misunderstand me. So when it's extreme weather conditions, when it's storm, storm for example, I don't go out into the woods because it's uh, it's a hazard for your life, for your health, and for your life. Uh, being in the woods when it's stormy weather. So when it's stormy weather, I stay at home or just walk in the open places, like to the uh, where there's no trees, because it's uh, uh, it's a health hazard life hazard basically okay guys let's go out let's go out let's uh, let's train let's see uh, what we can do today Wednesday today tomorrow we have our um, um, sheep circle session and um, I believe there's a lot of things to share there's a lot of interesting thoughts to share for all of us. So I'm looking forward to this.
I wish you a very great Wednesday. Love you guys. Have a nice day.